Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanksgiving has come and gone. New Year's is on the horizon and we already have people talking about New Year's resolutions, what their goals are. Some people don't even talk about New Year's goals anymore because they, anymore because they fail at it over and over and over again. So I figured today would be a good idea to kind of go over why those goals fail, why New Year's resolutions fall apart, and how to break it down so that way you don't fail at it. So having goals is not a bad thing. The inability to break down goals and how to structure it so you can actually succeed is where most people fail. So most common thing we see is I want to lose an X amount of weight or I want muscle ups, where it happens to be. So I'm going to use losing weight for an example because that's what we see most people say. I want to lose weight. And the marker doesn't work, of course. We've got to redo this. <laughs> Are you still recording? Should I just go right back into it? <laughs> All right, I got a good marker. Hopefully, we're going to find out. So I want to lose weight. Hopefully lose weight is spelled with one O. I'm not great with grammar. Lose weight. That is a very broad general goal. How do we accomplish that? How much weight? What do you want to do it by, right? Most of us know smart goals, um, but then we want to break it down more from there, right? Okay, I want to lose 15 pounds. Okay, cool. Break it down. How much per month? Um, I want to lose four to five pounds a month. All right, let's break it down even more. How about a pound a week? Okay, awesome. You have a goal of losing a pound a week. That is still not detailed enough because there's no actionable plan to that. A pound a week, awesome. How are you going to do it? Um, I am going to cut out my bagel at breakfast. Cutting out things is usually hard for people to do right away. Maybe it's I'm going to add a protein smoothie for breakfast. I'm going to add some protein. I'm going to add one more day of exercising a week. So what I like to see people do is set up an actual action plan with goals that they know they can accomplish first. Goals are very attainable. Not, hey, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. every day to work out when I've been waking up at 7.30 every day. That is not an attainable goal. Immediately saying that makes most people quit before they even start. So it might be something like, on Saturdays, I'm gonna go for a 30 minute walk. Very attainable goal. Bam, you have success. This is why some people start with, uh, if you want to achieve goals, start by making your bed every morning because you can already check off a win. So if you can do this on Saturdays, you can check off a win. And then you can bump it off from there. I'm going to go to the gym three times per week. Check. Attainable goal for you. I'm going to add in more protein at lunch. Attainable goal. And you can build wins over and over and over again in these small areas of your life that'll eventually lead to this big goal of losing 15 pounds. And you can do the same thing with muscle ups. I hear so many people say, I want muscle ups by the open. But then they never break it down with their weaknesses. They just fling around the rings a couple times a week for a month and then they kind of fall apart from there. Break it down to the simplest thing you can do and start with easy wins so you can build some confidence and keep moving forward with it. Hope that helps you out. Let me know what you're planning to do in 2018.